In September 2016, close to 50,000 mining industry professionals from around the globe gathered in Las Vegas, Nevada for Mine Expo International, the largest mining show in the world. Mine Expo was the perfect venue for SKF to launch the first ever Mining Insights speaker series. SKF developed the series to help mining industry professionals gain insights to overcoming the challenges faced every day within the industry. A diverse range of experts from across the world of mining presented real-world case studies, industry trends, technologies for improving reliability, productivity, safety and much more. And with that I'm proud to present our next speaker who will be covering solutions for extreme contaminated conditions. He's a registered professional engineer with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and he's SKF's Global Mining Segment Manager. Uh, please put your hands together for Mr. Keith Mayers. Good morning, Keith. Thank you, John. Stage is yours. Welcome, and thank you for coming at this time. I would like to talk about the um, solutions that we have for extreme contaminated conditions. We know that most bearings in this, app, in this industry wear out. They don't fail from fatigue. They simply wear out. It's because we've seen that contamination and ineffective lubrication accounts for over 50% of all of these failures. And what is the, the real challenge? The real challenge is dusty, dirty, wet, poor lubrication environments. This is just one example that, that I'll show you of, a, of an application in a conveyor, for instance. We, the applications were just piled high with abrasive materials that damage the seals, migrate into the housings and cause failure of the machinery. Here's an example, again, of a, of a pulley application where the, the material is just caked onto the, to the, uh, the housings. Uh, oftentimes, the machinery is washed down with high pressure hoses. That migrates into the, into the machinery as well. It, can, it causes this sort of condition inside the bearings where there's rust and, and all sorts of abrasive materials. This is a particular wear pattern we see in conveyor pulley applications. We call it a washboard effect. It's a, a, an effect due to the vi combination of vibration, of abrasive material inside the lubricant, but also a poor lubrication condition. The bearings wear. You can see the, the, the extreme wear on the raceway, outer ring raceway of the spherical roller bearing in a pinion mill application. Again, extreme wear owing to the, the fact that the, the abrasive material in the lubricant just washes it away. And we actually provide services where we track the wear, the internal clearance owing to the wear inside the bearings. And when a certain tolerance is, is uh, reached, we recommend, recommend replacement of the bearing. In some cases, when we, we are able to take the bearing out of service, the larger size bearings, we can actually remanufacture to, to like a new condition because of this wear. And this is what happens. You have extreme failures of the, of the machinery, the bearings, taking it out of service, reducing uh, availability, reducing, or pr reducing productivity, increasing downtime, increasing maintenance and repair costs, and, they, and surely affecting safety, risk of injuries. So what are our solutions and our implementation? We have three basic solutions. We have what we call the SKF Explore quality of bearing with its heat treatment and improved design. We have the sealed spherical roller bearing that we place inside the sealed machine, and then we have the housing seals. The SKF Explorer class bearing has three main features. That of an optimized internal design to reduce friction and create lo improved load distribution for longer life. We have high performance materials, very clean materials, and uh, a benetic heat treatment. And we have high quality manufacturing with improved running precision and accuracy, improved roller precision tolerancing, and in superior packaging to deliver the bearing in a good way. We have seen based on our tests and our experience that with this Explorer bearing, we have much longer service life compared to our 
previous bearings and our competitor bearings. Moreover, we have much less wear due to this Benedict type heat treatment compared to our former bearings. And in 2012, we introduced what we called the upgraded Explorer spherical roller bearing with an improved heat treatment, higher hardness on the raceways, and a better microstructure to the steel that allowed much longer li life in contaminated and poor lubrication conditions, and much less wear compared to even our original Explorer bearing. We call that the upgraded bearing, and we put a label on the box, this Explorer upgrade label. We put a WR for wear resistance on the, the ring of the bearing and on the packaging to denote that you have an SKF upgraded Explorer spherical roller bearing. And another improvement we have is the sealed spherical roller bearing. This is uh, coming from the factory lubricated and factory sealed so that it protects the bearing from initial contamination at installation. I've been at a quarry, for instance, where we took an open bearing, a bearing without seals, out of the box. It was raining. It, the, the quarry dust was blowing around. All that went like a magnet right to the bearing. That was put in a housing. So you initially had contamination. So you protect the bearing out of the box from contamination at initial installation. And then by putting that sealed bearing inside a sealed housing, you have extra protection. We call that the three barrier solution, putting a sealed bearing inside a sealed housing because you actually have three barriers then. You have the housing seal. We put grease between the housing seal and the sealed bearing inside to have a second barrier. And then the third barrier itself is the, the uh, s sealed spherical roller bearing. You get three, three barriers, the housing seal, the, the grease barrier, and then the, the bearing seal itself three barriers. We've seen using this solution conveyor pulley bearing life going from one year to three and four years, even exceeding the lagging, the life of the lagging if with cera ceramic type lagging. We've had applications in mining where the, um, the, the life was measured in weeks and now we're talking years with this solution and also reduce maintenance because oftentimes customers were putting large amounts of, of lubrication into the bearings in order to purge the, the contamination away from the bearings. Now with this solution we've seen at a minimum 90% reduction in grease consumption. Now you can grease the bearing just for the bearing if the bearing needs lubrication at all. In some cases we've been able to go without maintenance, without any lubrication. In most applications in conveyors, we do recommend a small amount of grease just to grease the bearing, not to, to purge the contamination. There are, however, extreme cases of contamination where this high, water, high pressure water is sprayed against the bearing housing. In conventional taconite seals, the water would jet right through the seal into the bearing. Now what we've created, initially the initial design from SKF Australia, Added, adds an extra flinger in order to jet the water spray away from the uh, taconite seal. This is now our global taconite seal from SKF. It's available throughout the world, standardizing on this one design. It's both available for both metric and the inch dimension housings by SKF. When we combine the sealed bearing with the grease barrier and the taconite seal, we call it the ultimate three barrier solution. Again, in applications where life was formally measured in weeks, we now measure it in, in years. So the results, the results, for instance, some examples. In vibrating screens, we've used the upgraded Explorer we're in an extremely contaminated condition where frequently it had a lack of lubrication. We've gone from six months life, these bearings were installed in 2012 and they're still operating. Extreme conditions of, of, of contamination and uh, lack of lubrication and the Explorer bearing has lasted longer. We've had in pulley applications where the life was measured in six to 12 weeks, we've installed these, 
and that still after 18 months, they're, they're still running without problem with much less uh, relubrication requirement needed. Another example was in Western Australia where they were measuring bearing life in, in months, 12 months, both our bearing and competitor bearings side by side. This was put in even despite the fact that they were having the high pressure wash down, those bearings are still running and lasting longer than the ceramic lagging on the pulleys. This is a map of some of our customers around the world that are using these solutions of the upgraded bearing in com com combination with the sealing and the taconite seal. You see it's in Asia, uh, China, Australia, Indonesia, uh, India, uh, Africa, Latin, South America, and North America. And we're, we keep adding successes to this. We've, I'm getting stories from Poland, for instance, in the coal mines there where they're using it. So we have a lot of experience and, and using these solutions to save customers money, to improve productivity, reduce downtime, and uh, improve safety. So in summary, we have these three solutions, the upgraded SKF Explorer bearing, its design, material, manufacturer, the three barrier solution of the sealed upgraded SKF Explorer bearing inside a housing with the grease barrier and the taconite seal. And then we have also the ultimate three barrier solution using the new global taconite seal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Keith. That was a very enlightening presentation. Um, can I just ask the audience, does anyone have any questions uh, for Keith? So when it comes to uh, monitoring the health of these bearings, mm -hmm. um, has there been any development in terms of uh, being able to remotely monitor them through sensors and things like that? Absolutely. Yeah, machinery health. We, we have, uh, there's techno vibration technology that you can see here that as the, the bearings begin to wear, that shows up as a higher vibration level. We have a technique called acceleration enveloping that detects that uh, type of condition. And that can be done wirelessly or hardwired sensors. And we can, you can do the monitoring with a portable data collector, an online system, and that can be done remotely as well. We have, for instance, mines in, in uh, Chile in, where that are 1,500 kilometers from Santiago, but the monitoring is done in Santiago. Mm. For Thank instance. you. Thanks, sir. Any more questions for Keith? Uh, Keith, I've actually got uh, oh, gentleman over there. Yes. Uh, what's the availability for the bearings? The very, very, like various sizes. Well, it, in the main conveyor sizes of, of spherical roller bearing, it has high availability. Yep. It'll be off the shelf in many locations. Off the shelf. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, anyone else got any questions for Keith? Okay, uh, just one further one actually, Keith. Um, do all these technologies and solutions improve health and safety? If so, how can you elaborate on that, please? Well, the number one cause of, of accidents in mining is doing maintenance and repair of machinery. If you can help uh, reduce the required maintenance on a piece of machine, or if you can mitigate the need for maintenance at all, for instance, by by having longer mean time between repairs, you obviously then repair, improve safety. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Keith. Put your hands together, please, for Keith Myers. Join the conversation. If you haven't already, be sure to follow SKF Mining Insights on LinkedIn and look for more case study presentations and other valuable content on skf.com forward slash mining insights.